Hello, welcome to Flix Water YouTube channel. Today, I am going to talk to you about why some people are constantly dehydrated. Dehydration can be a common issue for many individuals, and understanding its underlying causes can help you take steps to stay better hydrated. Let's dive into the reasons why this can happen. Before we start, can you please click the subscribe button below, we really need your support to develop this channel and publish more and more videos, just one click on the subscribe button, you are helping us and we really appreciate it. Again, we really need your help, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you. First and foremost, not drinking enough water or other hydrating fluids is a major contributor to persistent dehydration. It's essential to meet your daily recommended fluid intake, which varies from person to person. A general guideline is around 8 cups, 64 ounces, of water per day. If you're not drinking enough, your body won't have the fluids it needs to function properly, leading to dehydration. Another reason for constant dehydration is excessive fluid loss. This can occur when you're losing fluids through activities like sweating, urination, or even vomiting at a rate that surpasses your fluid intake. This is particularly common in hot weather or during strenuous physical activity. Medical conditions can also play a role in chronic dehydration. Conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, and hormonal imbalances can interfere with your body's ability to regulate water balance. Gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea and vomiting can result in substantial fluid loss as well. Certain medications can exacerbate dehydration. For instance, diuretics, which are often prescribed to manage blood pressure, can increase urine output, leading to more fluid loss. Your diet can also influence your hydration levels. A diet high in salt and low in water-rich foods, such as fruits and vegetables, can contribute to dehydration. Excessive consumption of caffeine and alcohol, which act as diuretics, can lead to greater fluid loss. Age can be a factor too, as older adults might be at a higher risk of dehydration due to a decreased ability to sense thirst and less efficient kidney function. If you live in a hot, dry climate or are exposed to extreme heat, you're more susceptible to dehydration. And illnesses or infections that cause fever, sweating, or an increased respiratory rate can lead to higher fluid loss. Lastly, even stress can impact your hydration. Chronic stress can affect your body's hormonal balance, potentially leading to increased fluid loss. To address constant dehydration, make sure to drink enough water, maintain a balanced diet, and be mindful of your fluid intake. If dehydration persists despite these measures or you suspect an underlying medical condition, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for a proper evaluation and guidance on how to effectively manage the issue. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for next topics or click to see the next videos on the right.